Witterson. Which is on a Mercedes Benz R Class. Uh, this is the um, the nine inch screen version, which comes with the frame round here and this big large screen. You can go and stick to the OEM style if you want. If you don't want to go away from the original look of the car, uh, which is also on our website, which also has. Now the system um, that on the sale page for this particular product comes in three styles. Uh, each style has its own um, graphical interface, and style one tends to be. Uh, this today is style two. Um, style 3 does look a little bit better I think because obviously you can change this KMH to MPH on Style 3 but you can't do it on Style 2. You can get rid of that if you want, um, easily done, you can change the skin. Uh, this little icon down here with a paintbrush, that, that will go into a, an online app which has a lot of skins so it's basically changing the interface and the graphics and stuff. It is an online one so basically you do need to connect it to an internet connection. Uh, so I'll just give you a little rundown what I can do today and we'll give you a little rundown on the end of the video of what you can do to it. Um, okay, home page. Uh, this is your navigation icon here. So you can download any map of choice that what you're used to, Tom Tom Play from the Play Store, um Copilot, Sidejick, uh, Garmin, whatever, uh, Google Maps and you can assign it to this button here. Uh, this one's also got Google Maps pre-installed. Um, again, it's another online app. So basically we need to connect an internet to it. It does come with a SIM card holder, so if you want to put a 4G SIM card in there, it'll give it data that way. Uh, alternatively, you can link it to your phone which, uh, through a hotspot uh, to the built-in Wi-Fi of the system. Um, and that's usually done where you just turn your phone into a hotspot, hold that one down there, it takes you into the Wi-Fi menu and then you link your phone together. So that's that side of things, one second. Back button there. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, Bluetooth, okay, so if you want to pair your phone to it and take all your phone calls through the system, um, you can do that also. Um, and you can have multiple users using this phone and any history of uh, other users other than your own, then obviously it'll come in this list, you just select it before when you before you use it and then obviously if you're, to, you're changing the driver. Um, okay, this is your application centre which I'll show you in a short while. Uh, this part here is your radio interface, so this is where Have you got a mask? Like one of those radio. Kind of now, just to let you know, it does work with the steering wheel controls, as you can see I'm playing around with it here. And also you can yeah, skip tracks and stuff like that. It does show you the radio station there, uh, so it does have RDS. Um, okay, so we'll go into the applications. This is, this is your application centre. As you can see, it's nice and swift and responsive. Uh, that's what you're going to get with an 8-core processor. Um, if you do go down to four core, then obviously a lot of the apps do need a lot more power and memory, so you'll find that four cores tend to slow down uh, within a few months. But obviously, this one's nice and quick and responsive. So, as you can see, this is the application center here. Uh, some apps are totally pointless, if you ask me. Um, but obviously, this is where every app goes into there. You've got your orgs there, so if you link any like a TV box to it. Yeah, you're linking into that option there. You've also got the back end settings, which is Android settings for sound display, general, original car settings for like AC and radars for the camera, reverse options here, uh, voice options. So the, if you've got a little icon for the, you can verbally talk to it. So a few of these apps here like YouTube and um, Google Maps have that. So obviously you can speak to it if you wish. Um, okay. Um, I'll just take you back out there one second. Um, okay, boot animation. Again, if you want to change the logo from the startup, you can upload your own logos to it. Chrome, this tends to be obviously a browser. Don't ask me what car mate is. I have no idea. Let's have a little look. I couldn't tell you what that is, to be honest with you guys. I don't even know what it is. Uh, do fun play. I don't know whether you can play around if you've got kids in the car and upload some games to there. Let's have a little look. Okay, colour. So that tends to be um, in reference to these little icons here, which will shine. Or oh, should I say, light up when you put your headlights on. You can probably change the colour of the lights down there if you want. Let's go back on. Uh, Dab radio. Okay, so this is for the offline version, uh, which the customer hasn't done. But uh, again, you can put apps on there from the Play Store or through the CarPlay app, which I'll show you in a moment. DSP sound processor, if you're into your subs and your amps and stuff like that, then obviously you can control your uh, output on this here. Let's go back. Uh, file manager, so if you want to put anything on there that's not on the Play Store, likes of the download app, 
Um, so if you want to put your IPTV on there, you can put it on a USB pen and play, uh, upload it through this way here. Uh, Google, browser, um, e-manual. So obviously your manuals tend to come on um, the system itself now. Um, okay. Google Maps there. So obviously it comes with some USB cables. So if you want to put your music or even films on a USB pen, and plug it into the cable you can play through this app here or you should have a video one that one there okay so this one is the play store so obviously if you want to log into there and um, download any apps from the play store direct to the system you can do so uh, just to let you know guys that it will work totally fine with an apple phone people get a little bit scared just because it's an android os and says android in the title all that basically means is when you download apps you download them from the play store and not from the apple app store so that's the only reasons why um, it says Android in the title and obviously it's totally fine with Apple so um, don't worry about that as you see just to show you the Apple phone to find that's the CarPlay uh, application so basically um, Apple phones will give you this CarPlay here so this will bring like quite a lot of apps from your phone like the likes of music apps and navigation apps and uh, what else is on there um, okay, so yes, yeah, so, and, and chat apps like WhatsApp and stuff like that. Um, and also, if you've got an Android phone, you'll get Android Auto through there, which is pretty similar. So if we just go back to car, which is the, uh, the, the home page of the Android, and I'll say let's have a little look. YouTube, everyone knows what that is. You're probably watching this video on there. Um, okay, so also there's a DVR app. So basically, if you can add a DVR camera to it, which is a crash cam. Um, and add it to this system here. So yeah, hope, hope you like the video today guys. I'll bring it to an end. So if you've got any questions, uh, get in touch. Wait a second.